War Mongrels from the developer's destructive creations is a wonderful modern day World War II RTS rendition, similar in many ways to the likes of Commandos, except that it is far more gutsy, far more visceral and vastly less forgiving. With a fairly hefty learning curve, it can also be really quite frustrating at the start. War Mongols is a World War II isometric real-time strategy game set on the Eastern Front and comes with a breathtakingly fresh and unique storyline, but it does not shy away from the horrors of Nazi occupation. Along your character's tenacious journey, you will live through the shocking realisation of what Nazi brutality really looks like, the despair and the inhumanity that the fascists inflicted on people, and the desire for revenge and justification felt by many as that reality started to set in. Fucking head! It won't set you! Yeah! Come on! Get the fuck down! War Mongols is already sitting proud as being one of my all-time favourite RTS titles, thanks in part to its fantastic graphics, its brave determination to show real-life events as they were, and indeed, my favourite thing of all, it's got to be one of the most challenging RTS titles I think I have ever played, where mere milliseconds and millimetres are all that stand between success and outright failure. Hein, zwei, drei. In this game, the AI, although easily tricked, can be devastatingly good at discovering and destroying you. Each level comprises a set location and a series of progressive goals that you have to complete. Enemy positions are authentic enough and designed to provide visual cover from multiple angles, elevations and at different times, making it even more demanding to figure out the puzzle, formulate a plan and then execute it successfully. Each character has a set number of abilities and attributes and as you progress your numbers will swell providing more skills and abilities and options for you to overcome the enemy. However, it is not all plain sailing, and I believe that Destructive Creations are very aware of this, as they asked me to refrain from reviewing the game until after the release date patch. And as frustrating as that is for me, I will of course adhere to that request, and furthermore, I hope it brings about some of the changes that I really want to see. Some of the core game mechanics and the controls for War Mongrels leave me spitting feathers at times. I have died so many times due to accidental unit selection and positioning or stance, and I can't even consider uploading my first six hours of gameplay because, truth be told, it took me an hour to learn the controls, but a further three or four hours to feel like I had mastered them. And still, after six hours, I feel that I run into these issues quite frequently. I cannot seem to fathom how to get my teammates to shoot their guns at the same time as I am. Nor will any of them take cover in a firefight. That being said, I have to admit, I am a massive fan of the hunting mode ability, which effectively allows you to actively engage the enemy forces in a top-down shooter-style way. It's a brilliant addition, and I must say it really, really works. Even if my two teammates literally stood by and watched as I independently dispatched an entire battalion of Nazis all on my own. Yeah, truth be told, I quite enjoyed it. I am absolutely convinced that there must be a way to get them to defend themselves in a firefight, but I just cannot seem to figure it out, and that is very frustrating. Thankfully, the game will create a save point with every single important event, and I do mean literally every single important event but only up to a maximum of five saves. So if you escalate a wall and make it to a certain point on the map, that's a save point. If you kill somebody, that's a save point. If you get another character up onto that same wall, that's a save point. Unfortunately, this might end up leaving you in a position where you're actually caught between a rock and a hard place. If, for example, you threw your pocket watch over the fence in order to distract one of the guards, which is one of the special moves attributed to one of the two main protagonists, but you miscalculated your throw slightly, then you might find that you cannot go back and recover it, at least not very easily, because all of the game save points are literally up to that point, and maybe just beyond it, as you try to figure out how to reverse your mistake. What I ended up doing, and what I found happening quite a lot, perhaps too often, was that I would have to reload an event 
multiple times over in order to successfully get the timing just right. It's a great game when you can get it all timing together and all your pistons are firing at once. But it can also be incredibly frustrating when you have to keep going back because of a slight mistake that you made or that the game kind of tricked you into making. In addition to these control and game mechanic issues, there are also some small bugs, nothing really significant, some which stop your character from being able to move when they should be able to, some issues with pathfinding do exist as well, where your team will often prefer to take a completely illogical shortcut straight past the nasty guards that you're actually trying to sneak past, and if you kill an enemy guard and throw out a bottle of booze, the next enemy will only see the booze. Now, there's an argument here that suggests that that is actually quite realistic, but you can further confuse the enemy by throwing out a pocket watch to one side and a bottle of booze to the other. A poor fellow doesn't know what to do with himself. I also found that the puzzles and the map design were too linear. There appear to be multiple ways to complete each task, and technically that is true, but honestly, it never really felt like that was the case. I have other change requests too. I'd prefer to be able to take enemy clothing from the enemies that I killed, instead of finding perfectly pressed SS uniforms just randomly laying around. Enemy soldiers shouldn't carry on with their day straight after watching a fellow soldier die from the agony of stepping in a bear trap that wasn't there two minutes ago, Ditches should also be more accessible, and why on earth can't I climb over a waist height fence? And as already mentioned, my team must defend themselves in a firefight. It appears that I'm painting a terrible picture of this game, and I don't mean to, because despite its many misgivings, I actually think it is excellent. Yes, it did take me about four hours of playing before I really felt like I had any control of the situation. And there are some really great ideas which have been implemented here, and I love how unique it all feels whilst also still feeling rather familiar. It's a great modern twist on a classic game style, and I'm enjoying the challenge a great deal. I also enjoy dropping crates on enemies or pushing over damaged walls to get the same effect. It certainly does add a bit of variety to proceedings. It also will launch with co-op mode, and I hope to be able to try this out before writing this review, because as yet it's not been an option to me, and it might help alleviate the difficulties that I have encountered up to this point. War Mongrels, in my humble opinion, is a classic in the making, and I tip my hat to Destructive Creations for a job almost expertly done. Now, if you could just implement those changes that I've requested in this review, I think we'll have a modern day classic on our hands. Thanks for watching guys, hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends, you know how this works. Leave me a comment in the comment section below, and I thank you very much for your time. Take care till next time, bye for now.